Okay, let's try again. Um, hopefully frame rates this time will <laughs> won't fall. Uh, probably I will need to stitch these videos together later on. Uh, let's see. Yeah, looks solid. Okay, so uh, let's get back to where we kind of stopped. Um, and hopefully this time it will work. So I'm not sure where exactly the frame rates dropped, but um, yeah, let's get back to the architecture part. So to recap, we're talking about three-factor architecture. We have an application, we have real-time GraphQL API, and we have uh, we have our database, and we have a venting system that triggers serverless functions, which uh, are doing something like uh, asynchronously and then update the state uh, subscriptions propagate everything back to to the client so um, something like that so this is the three-factor architecture so um, today I will try to scale it further having Hasura here and having Yugabyte DB now I think when I explained what Yugabyte is I had like dropped frames and it didn't pass through so I will explain again uh, so Yugabyte is uh, the high-performance distributed uh, SQL database, and the idea is to have a database cluster, and it's like global scale, and it brings data more faster, and obviously you have like a full to tolerance, so let's say if you have several nodes and one node is down, then it de depends on your application factor, you have uh, like d data consistency and, and so on. So today we, we will do that and uh, let's actually get started. And um, I will use it on Mac OS, but obviously you can do it in, in Docker as well. Um, I, ju I will just run it locally. So um, yeah. So first of all, uh, I think we will go to complete docs and go here. So what I will start with is, um, uh, let me, okay, I get the chat here. Hey, uh, so what I will start first of all is basically checking Python version. I'm, I'm good with Python version. Um, now I have wget and I have curl, so I won't need to install them. I will check my max files. Now the reason to to do this is because whenever you create a cluster, you have different double servers and um, it can be quite a lot of files created, uh, not space-wise, but like quantity-wise. So you need to edit some configurations here for the max file and max proc and, and so on. And let me try to check that. And I already have it configured because, uh, well, I'm using database uh, Yugabyte for a um, bunch of projects, so I already have it here. Um, now, if you don't, you go to etc system uh, conf and uh, configure it there. And I don't have it here, but I have my list file with max, max file. So if I go inside, uh, you see the max files are here, so uh, I'm good with the configuration. Now then, uh, what I need to do is uh, to relaunch that. I won't do that because I already have it loaded. I need to download Yugabyte. Let's see what version do I have have 
2.0 and I, I believe it's yeah it's the same version here so I will just use it I don't need to unpack I just need to go inside my gigabyte folder I'm already here so there is this configuration now let's let's first of all um, yeah let's let's look at this configuration ba basically what I will have I will have different tablet servers basically uh, my um, master server will have replication master database will have replication on like these like tablet servers and um, for that running that on localhost I will have uh, I will need to configure the loop, loopback addresses so we'll do it in, in the following way it actually goes down when I restart so I probably need to execute that uh, and uh, yeah so now uh, I don't need that. I can create a cluster with one node. Now I, I actually want I don't want to create a cluster with one node because I want to show you, like what is the to fault tolerance. Like yeah, I want to take nodes down and see the database is not like a, it complete. Uh, it's just working. So I will need to run this command. It will create a three node cluster. Uh, cockroach DB. What do I think about Cockroach DB versus Yogabyte? Uh, there is a PR for Cockroach in Hasura. What's your opinion? Actually, like I, I haven't dived uh, in depth into Cockroach DB. Uh, I mean, I really like how Yogabyte works, and um, um, it's actually a good question. I, I, I need to check Cockroach DB, maybe do a stream on that or something, or uh, the, the differences. Uh, let me actually write it down. Uh, and let's. Let me write it down. Cockroach DB versus Yugabai. Can be a, g a good blog post. Need to run session that. Thanks. Um, so uh, I want to create this cluster, right? So let's um, let's actually do that now with Hasura. Uh, it won't work uh, that way. I need to pass some flags. So what I need to do is to pass the server flags with uh, by SQL suppress and supported error. And uh, the reason for that because there is like some things that are not supported, and you just it's just a warning flag that you need to disable. So let's run that and let's uh, see if it will work. Cool. So I have several things here. I have MySQL shell for all my SQL commands. I have SQL shell, which is and like. Yeah, this shell, which is sort of like Redis API. This is kind of kind of Cassandra compatible API, but the main emphasis is, is this one, MySQL shell, because Yugabyte is compatible with Postgres, has Postgres uh, API, so Hasura will be able to run on top of that. Uh, now I will also have folder for cluster data. So if let's say I put this cluster down, and then I um, uh, like started, uh, the data will still be there, right? So right now, um, if I run status, I will see a bunch of nodes here. I will see the I see the replication factor three, three nodes. I see the master node, uh, the T server, T server with the master processes, IDs, and all of this kind of stuff. Now this is like the CLI UI, but I, I can go to basically localhost uh, 7000 and I will get an admin UI for um, Yugabyte DB. 
Now here I can actually go inside config, see the cluster, uh, unique identifier, see the the T servers uh, with all the data, all the tables. So I can see that there are like attributes and yeah, lots of them. Um, and uh, these are servers. Now I can go to each individual server and configure, like use different utilities, look at the server logs, um, look at the like memory consumption. I can um, look at the like threads used, uh, check like what is the memory breakdown, basically go like drill through every every server if I have performance issues, not that I encounter, encounter performance issues, but it's good to know. Um, so, um, and yeah, it's load balanced, I have three servers and so on. So right now what we'll do, we will run Hasura on top of Yugabyte and this will be pretty simple, basically. Um, let's run this one. So I pass, uh, I run Hasura in Docker and I pass the, the Postgres URL with uh, port 5433, not 34, uh, Yugabyte. And uh, the rest is, is pretty familiar to um, anyone who uses Asura. If you're not, I did a video on that. And uh, what did I miss? Ah, okay, probably. Uh, it was, yeah, this one. That was typo. So I have Asura here running and let's see. It will take a little bit of time to uh, bring it up. Yeah, I see it's still up. Okay, cool. So this is my Hasura console, which is loaded. And now if I go to my Yugabyte, I will see Hasura specific tables created event triggers, HDB function, remote schemas, all of these tables. These are Hasura tables, basically. All the relationships are defined here and so on. And uh, yeah, you can go into and drill through this. So now uh, what we'll do is create some data. So let's add uh, something here. I think I will create, uh, we'll start with users. Um, so users table and I will have an ID. Let's say it will be text and maybe later on I will connect it to, uh, to odd zero or something. Then it will be like text value for the ID. Uh, and then uh, let's just keep it with the name and that's it. And primary key will be ID. And that's it, that's the user. As simple as that. And the table is created. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do something more interesting. Let me just remove this table. <coughs> Let's more do more kind of real life approach. Let's reload that. Um, I will create a Gatsby sign. Let, let it be just starter blog. Um, call it Gatsby, Yugabyte, Asura demo. And let's see, it's loading. Oh, come on, What's, what, what just happened? Uh, it usually, ah, okay, I was in data folder for the, 
for the users when I deleted the, the users table. That's why it disappeared. Oh, come on. I still have... I've been dropped frames again. Seriously? Let's see. 